what can drones be used for in agriculture isn't it about plugging fields and planting seeds not quite so the next big thing for the agriculture sector of india is the usage of the krishi drones from crop assessment to digitalization of land records drones can be used for a lot of more activities than just that agri infra front recently approved the first ever drone loan for a kisan drone made by garuda aerospace ceo agnishwar jay prakash in an exclusive conversation with pbns tells us how this is going to push garuda in its aim to manufacture more kisan drones and also help the agri infra ecosystem be better garuda aerospace has always been uh, jay jawan jay kisan jay hind you know so it has been uh, serving the country we are uh, serving our farmers as well as our jawans who have uh, a who have been protecting us uh, and who have also been feeding us one of the biggest uh, uh, great news of of garuda aerospace in the last couple of months has of course been uh, the aif giving out the first ever drone loan the kisan drone loan to garuda aerospace service provider and uh, you know this is going to be a very revolutionary uh, change because um especially in the agriculture sector uh, a lot of farm equipments are heavily subsidized and they are always provided loans and this uh, like you know alleviates the risk of any uh, service provider or a farmer who intends to purchase this drone where they will not have to spend money out of their own pocket they will have an option of a finance uh, financial institution providing them the upfront money and they will also have the government coming in in uh, partially subsidizing or full Fully subsidizing the um, the farm asset. So now that the government has moved to a very progressive policy of uh, providing both Kisan drone loan as well as anywhere between forty to hundred percent subsidy for these Kisan drones, this is a very very welcome sign. And we hope to, uh, in fact, manufacture and sell over twenty five thousand Kisan drones manufactured by Garuda Aerospace made in India uh, by in the next ten to twelve months. And our focus. has been to not just manufacture these drones in india but also add layers of artificial intelligence machine learning 5g enabled capabilities so that there is a lot of deep data tech analysis that can be done and where we can provide agri advisory services back to the farmers where they can be advised on how better that they can do farming in a smart way in a precise way where it can help in terms of yield productivity it can help in terms of understanding the nuances of uh, what sort of diseases and what sort of solutions must be provided in order to tackle these diseases like a human body has se- several diseases that we suffer from similar as crops they suffer from so many diseases and crop loss contributes to 30 to 35 percentage of like you know of india uh, in indian agricultural ecosystem so if we are able to cut that down even by 5 or 10% this can add to a significant amount to the indian farming ecosystem gdp because india is still in its villages 60 to 65% of our country is still in rural india and their primary uh, like you know uh, uh, mode of living and uh, uh, occupation is agriculture so we believe that the drones that we are deploying the kisan drones are not just for spraying or data capturing it is a super computer on wings and we are very excited that the government has enabled such progressive policies for us to create a new green revolution in our country uh today if you look at the kisan drone many people think that it is expensive but one of the biggest uh, uh, concepts that people need to realize that it uh, saves uh in terms of 70% the amount of pesticide uh, that is being used in traditional methods uh 80% the less amount of water is being utilized and over a large period of time the efficiency the time that is being saved we have encountered over 26 to 27% increase in food crop productivity and yield of farmers now uh, and we are offering the services at 300 to 400 rupees which is equivalent to the uh, services that they are enlisting from let's say backpack sprayers or tractor sprayers uh only thing that the drone is much more faster it is more agile it is able to cover a large amount of distance in a short amount of time which is very essential especially in crop cycles where the disease does not give you any downtime a uh, pest or rodent or a fungus or a, a bacteria spreads very quickly and uh, if not tended to quickly uh, uh, the farmer ends up risking the entire harvest season uh, because of lack of uh, uh, adopting this new technology so uh, apart from this 
one must also realize that the government has provided uh, agricultural drone loans for drone uh, buyers, but they have also subsidized drone-based spraying, and they are offering anywhere between 3,000 to 3,400 rupees per hectare or 1,600 rupees per acre uh, of uh, subsidy, which government is giving uh, for uh, the technology to be adopted widely. So I believe that from a cost perspective, it is very well proven and the government is doing that only to ensure that there is wide scale adoption of this technology because they too realize how best uh, this innovation is compared to other existing um, uh, like, you know, products and services that are out there. But we believe that uh, now that uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni who has joined in as our brand ambassador, who is a perfect exemplar of a rural youth success story, uh, he's not just a brand ambassador, but he's also a shareholder in our company. So we believe that uh, his uh, words and the ads that carry the benefits of this Kisan drone spraying will become a very, very huge, uh, um, uh, like, you know, mover in the needle and in terms of the awareness that is going to be created in rural India. We believe that is going to have a tremendous uh, um, the impact, we are also planning on a lot of awareness and outdoor activities, um, traveling across, creating a drone yatra, uh, traveling toward all the 775 districts in India and showcasing this in schools and in colleges, as well as in FPO, FPC and ICAR run bodies. We want a lot of, um, uh, uh, like, you know, farmers and associations, uh, uh, service providers to get to know that benefits of this drone based spraying. And we believe very firmly that that will be created in the next six to eight months time. So what's happened is that, um, you know, the co common misconceptions are very always hard narratives to break. Uh, yeah, that drones are initially it was thought that it can be utilized only in marriage events and in uh, in sporting events etc but it is definitely not the case right so we have um, uh, like you know broken that stereotype that drones can be utilized for a variety of different applications when it comes to the complexity of these drones this is exactly why Corrida Aerospace apart from having Kisan drones we are also a licensed RPTO uh, which is a remote pilot training organization. We run training modules, which are very, very easy. I can teach you both how to fly a drone in the, in between five to seven days. In fact, you can relax in the field and set certain parameters and the drone will be able to fly on its own. So that is the manner in which the innovation has transcended. Today, we are talking about self-driving cars, but there is already the self-driving autopilot drone option that is there in the Garuda Kisan drone, which makes it very, very easy for anybody to pick it up and start flying. So a lot of the parameters of what height it should fly, what speed it should fly, what is the dilution ratio, um, what um, uh, the nozzle pressure and the pumps pressure that should be there is already inbuilt onto the drone. And that is where the tons and tons of the field uh, pilot uh, uh, pilot projects that we have done uh, along with over 300 KVKs, working along with uh, several KVKs over the last two and a half to three years and senior ICAR scientists has helped because they have given us a blueprint of what works well. And we are uh, loaded that all into the uh, drone and which has made it a lot more advanced than any other drone in the market today. And, um, you know, they say that when you learn how to drive in India, you can drive anywhere in the world. Very similar is uh, the drone flying in India. If you can fly and you can operate a business in India, you can do that uh, exceptionally well throughout the world because India is a very diverse country with multiple different crops, multiple different diseases, different types of solutions and fertilizers and pesticides for uh, tackling those problems that you face on the field. So we have a very, very good SOP of all of those throughout the country. And in fact, our drones have uh, gotten such a standard and credibility that uh, over 12,000 of our agricultural drones have been um, requested in Malaysia, in Africa, Panama, and South America. So we believe that we have a very, very good technology and it is consistently learning so that it will make it much more easier for the end user to use. Okay. Uh, Agnisha Ji, if you could elaborate on the last part that you just spoke about, which is taking Made in India drones in the outside world, which is other developing countries. India is a super growing developing country and we have the Kisan drones. Uh, what are the plans that we can take it abroad also, the Made in India products in other developing nations? Yes, because see what's happening is from the information security perspective, people are shying away from Chinese drone. 
and um, uh, also there is a price sensitive uh, so a price sensitive attitude when it comes to a lot of these developing countries uh, similar drones of this nature which are advanced in us australia uk uh, and uh, you uh, like you know anywhere in the europe and the western world in israel as well um, they come at a very high cost and it is not very affordable uh, it is about understanding the price point and what has happened in india is that because we developed this uh, technology uh, prime towards the indian agricultural ecosystem what we wanted to do was keep it in a very affordable range of anywhere between 4 to 5 lakh rupees and not more because even the uh, the loans as well as the subsidies are in that area so um, what's happening is that this is a very attractive price for a lot of these developing countries as well and because of the information security issue of uh, you know chinese drones that the data might be captured and being sent to chinese servers we always uh, observe the law of the land and ensure that data security is ensured and that transparency is one of the major reasons coupled with the diversity and the advanced software and firmware that we have developed um, in india are two major reasons why uh, all of these demand and intense from uh, a lot of the southeast asian african and south american countries have come forward garuda airspace is developing advanced version of seeding drones but how are they related to environment conservation from the design perspective it is very similar because it carries a similar amount of weight uh, from uh, like you know the flying and the stability perspective uh, it is carrying a payload so the aerodynamics and the manner in which the flight controllers and every bit of the technicality is designed is the same the only difference is in terms of the payload wherein when we have the nozzle and the sprayer tank for pesticide spraying drones um the seeder drone is uh, equipped with more so of a contraption which can shoot down the seeds so that there is enough amount of penetration uh, in the soil we are not wanting just a dropping we are wanting it to be in fact a seed shooting so that there is a success rate is a lot higher if the seed balls are penetrating the ground level and it is not uh, like you know merely kept on the on the surface um you know one of the things that we have succeeded in doing is completing uh, over 75000 uh, seed plantations and we uh, uh, announced that during uh, the independence day because uh, from azadi ka amrit mahotsav 75th years of independence we believe that um, you know 75000 was a great feat achieved and i think that from a esg and a carbon credit perspective and looking towards uh, you know making our environment a better place uh then like you know uh, countering climate change and so many of these environmental challenges that we are facing today i believe that uh, uh, the seeding drone is going to come in very handy for repopulating our forest and enfor enforcing reforestation rather than deforestation um, and i think that uh, garuda aerospace has been in the cutting edge of uh, developing uh, the advanced version of the seeding drone we call it the vrikshwahan drone uh wherein we are wanting to plant as many saplings as possible partnering with rotary lions and all of these ngos and the forest departments to ensure that you know uh, the we keep complaining about the rise in the um rise in the temperature uh, like you know incandescent rainfall sudden floods or droughts or famine so all of these are the results of less number of trees and the uh, uh, systematic disintegration of our forest so i think it is up to us to uh, make uh, uh, like this uh, entire revolution again happen it is time for us uh, to be the change and uh, you know not just uh, like you know uh, depend on others to uh, like you know make powerful actions it is up to us to become the change that we want to see in our world so i believe that in the form of technology one can uh, uh, make a lot more progressive step towards being a change maker and i think a lot more youngsters are following in our footsteps in trying to utilize emerging technologies to make a positive change in the environment Thank you for watching stay tuned with PBNS to catch all upcoming developments in the agriculture sector of India